In the previous lesson, we demonstrated how the exchange rate, the equilibrium exchange rate, is determined using a demand and supply model. However, the foreign exchange or forex market that this is all taking place in is quite a special market. So the factors influencing the demand of a currency are quite different from those that you might have learned about in microeconomics. Now, this is because the demand for a currency is a derived demand. Signals are not demanded in and of itself, but rather so that they can be used to purchase other goods and services. Now, so specifically, the demand for Sing dollars in the Forex market arises due to the, the demand for Singaporean goods and services by foreigners. So if a person living in Canada wishes to purchase something from Singapore, he must first exchange his Canadian dollars for Sing dollars, thus contributing to demand for Sing dollars. Now, if the relative interest rates between countries, it can also affect the demand for a currency through what we call short-term capital flows. If, for example, the interest rate in Singapore is relatively high, the demand for Sing dollars will increase as well as investors are encouraged to park their money in Singaporean banks to exploit the higher returns. In order to do this, they must buy Sing dollars from the forex market, thus increasing the demand for Sing dollars. Another factor that affects the demand of a currency is speculative activity by currency traders. And they do this due to the changes in expectations regarding the future value of a currency. So if these traders expect a currency to increase in value, they are likely to purchase a currency in the present and sell it in the future for a profit. 